So you're thinking of buying the Asus ROG 553VE laptop? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about whether or not I think this is the best video editing laptop for you. Before I get into this video, I just wanna put a disclaimer out there. I'm no computer expert geek. My heart and soul lies within video editing, content creation. But the sole purpose of this video is to talk about my overall reflections of this specific laptop and whether or not it met my needs. Because when I first needed for this job or any client, I needed to be free in terms of being remote dependent. I can work anywhere. And one of the powers of that is through having a laptop, specifically a video editing laptop. And after searching the market, I decided to go with the Asus ROG GL553VE laptop. This is a seventh generation Intel Core i7 quad core processor with a NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti, 4GB graphics, 15 inch G Sync panel with 160 degree viewing angle and Windows 10 pre installed, 256GB SSD plus another 1TB hard drive, Wi Fi. Bluetooth, USB, Type-C, and up to, it says, five life battery, but that is the overall overview of this laptop. So overall, when you need a video editing laptop, you need to understand that the processor is so important. It's not the dedicated graphics card, which does come in handy, but you need to have a strong processor. So when I went laptop browsing, the first thing that I looked for is it had to be an i7. And specifically for this laptop, it had an i7-7700, aka a KB Lake Edition core processor. That is so important. And it goes up to 2.8 gigahertz. And that was one of my gripes about it, that it was only limited to a 2.8 gigahertz. And it wasn't something along the lines of like a 3.6 or more optimally in a tower, like a 4.2 gigahertz processor. The overall speed of it when it comes to, you know, multitasking and doing multiple things at once was great. And one of the things on top of that, the versus, you know, the Asus ROG, the GLVD, I think, edition, is that instead of having a GTX 1050 card, this actually has a 1050 Ti which in my opinion, which is why I bought that, that because the 1050 Ti does give it a little more of a kick when it comes to rendering graphics or any kind of video editing necessary things, especially if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro CC, because with the Adobe system, it has something called CUDA or OpenCL instead of just using the, the memory playback system that already has. What you wanna do when you edit is that when you render videos, you wanna make sure that you enable CUDA or OpenGL because it saves you time as well as enables Adobe to recognize, oh, there's a dedicated graphic card that I can use to also speed up the rendering process. Because when you video edit, you know the time it takes to render a video, especially if you're doing 20 minute video. So having a strong processor on top of a strong dedicated graphics card is what you want to look for on top of high RAM. This computer that I used or still am using has 16 gigs of RAM, which is why it is so good for multitasking. And if you're a gamer, I've actually done some couple gameplays on this for leisure, and it actually runs a lot of things on 100 something frames per second without it being laggy or choppy from my own experience. Now more onto the cons of this laptop. And one of the biggest things I noticed right out of the box is because this Asus ROG laptop is heavy. It weighs in at 4.2 kilograms, pretty much 10 pounds. And although it is a 15 inch, the, one of the other things that I dislike about this line is that it has a CD drive. What modern like laptop nowadays had a CD drive and I don't even use it and it took up a lot of space. You could definitely have something like another fan in there, another like hard drive, more memory, something else than a CD drive. Because once in a while I accidentally bump into it and it accidentally opens and it does get a little tedious. And I say another gripe is that if you can hear this, That is actually the fan of this laptop. 
And surprisingly, from my knowledge, that it has one small fan that pretty much exhausts all of the heat within the laptop, which I haven't had overheating issues yet, but it does this, especially when I render, it does get pretty loud. And I would say the overall laptop, you can definitely start to feel it warm up. That was one of my other gripes with this specific laptop. And my last and final con about having the Asus ROG as my primary video editing laptop when I travel or do client work is that it's battery life. It can, when I'm editing, it can go roughly around, I would say an hour max if I'm doing a heavy usage, but on the site it says five hours of battery life, which I think is an over exaggeration. I should buy that laptop on top of the, you know, the extra specs, the core, the, the graphics card that it had. But contrary to my popular belief, there are a lot of blue screens of death because the incompatibility with CUDA. And I currently use the Mercury playback system, AKA only using the processor for rendering my videos. And it's been a lot of a headache. On top of if you take into account the, the really loud fan, the overall heat of the actual keyboard when you're rendering and you can actually feel the heat and the chunkiness of this, and on top of having the very bright orange, I guess you're wanting to stand out, but for me it's a little too loud for my own taste. But I would not use this laptop specifically for video editing, and if I did, I would not bring it with me to travel but I dig my own grave and I bought this laptop and it is currently my primary laptop when I use for video editing. But when it comes to gaming, I would definitely say this is a beast of a gaming laptop made for specifically for that. Hence the overall name and the Asus ROG Republic of Gamers the whole brand itself. So if you plan on using this laptop for gaming, I would definitely say you would use this, but if it was for video editing, I would consider a different model of the Asus line if you still stick with Asus and keep on browsing. Cause I don't, I like, I have a love hate with this laptop right here. A really love, love hate. You know, it's treated me well, but I would say there's definitely like other better other alternatives than this so if you're considering this laptop to buy for your video editing needs i would say a maybe maybe look more in depth detail and whether or not it meets your requirements and your budget then yes you know this stuff isn't the worst laptop to get if you're gaming i would say a definitely yes if you want to check out more specs into this laptop link in the description my name is peter you're watching broke visionary collective where we all start from nothing but you can always create something <laughs>